Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're just gonna wrap this uh, board game up. So, all right, there. I think this is video four. So let's just let's just knock it out. So, all right, right now we have it where we are changing our guess to an empty space. So we need to be able to take something and have it quit or be, be able to escape out of it so let's let's do that right now so all right let's see we need to have an if right here so we go if Uh, what do I have? Oh yeah. So now we've been taking these as upper case. So we need to solve this. How we're gonna do this? If so, it can take upper or lower case. So we check this. Q for quit. And then we turn play equals false. So we'll cancel out of here. So now we need to have an else. And then we'll just move this. And if you remember, I said just take this and format indent. So there we go. So that solves that problem. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to find a way to hide, let's say, some X's. In our board so let's do that and I know this is gonna be rather large so let's move this so we can see it hidden we're gonna do this list comprehension and you can follow this we'll go real slow so all right now we need to add choice so we're gonna have from random import choice if I can spell choice there we go all right so okay this is what we want to do we want to let's say we're gonna pick we're gonna have four X's print to the screen so we're gonna merge the letters with some numbers and we want to do it four times so let's just think about this so we take choice grab it out of letters so a oops a underscore f so that is already a string so plus now this is where it's gonna look really 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 weird so all right that's why I said this is already string. So we need to churn this. My goodness. So we need to wrap that. Then our choice from a list of range numbers one through six. Let's see if I get all our, there we go. And then that's going to add a letter to a string of a number and then for I in we want four X's right range four and then we close this out oh cool first guess got that right so all right so now we have our hidden our hidden X's the location so the way that I did this was so this isn't exactly right this is close so we really need to have, we really need to have, um, a double nested because this, we need to then check if our guesses match this because we want to have that stored in the background, but we don't want to, we still want the O's and the spaces. So this is what we're going to do. So if move right here, 
if our guess move in hidden this is what I want you to think about if our guess move is in this so this is what we're gonna check if it's in this list then we're going to do this we're gonna pop it out of the list and watch how we do this I want to see if anybody can get this on the first look before I explain it all right so what did I do here so okay pop takes index so guess what if you've never seen pop before pause here and go search pop and index so what this does is you search the list you find the index of the occurrence then pop takes the index so what I'm saying is what I'm saying here is if this guess is one of these hidden choices pop it out of the list so it gets removed then we need to take this and change it to an X so we're not gonna have to rethink any of this code we just change it to a capital X that's it and then we turn we put this on a else and guess what we indent again so all right I forgot one little thing we need we need to turn this back into a list before this will work so we need this part right here so now all these are the same just if these two conditions are met so now so we have our hidden now let's let's also print um, before we print all these and come through why don't we actually print what our hidden is print hidden so we can double check and see if all this is going to happen so all right let's do it now see where we are so okay everything's still good so all right here's our hidden variables so let's do our a one that we like to do changed it uh, let's make sure let's check our boundaries f six okay now let's see if because now when I guess one of these it should be an X and the next time it prints it should be uh, only three items and should remain the same three so a four so all right so a four is there and look at our new list all right now let's check our quit our Q okay great so okay everything is working right here now let's throw in one more little tidbit why don't we throw in um, something along the lines of find four X's find four hidden X's and then also actually let's just do that so all right so here we go print and then let's do now let's think of I'll do it one way and then I'll then we'll kind of put these two together so all right find actually yeah now now I remember what I wanted to do let's do this for how many X's are remaining find the hidden X's and I was gonna do format len hidden now what I do there we go okay so what I do here however many are in here so it knows how many are left so let's run it so, all right finally four hidden so let's do d1 d1 find the three hidden just like that and what f4 
then C5, and C3. Now there are zero hidden X's, and let's quit. So you did a very good job finding them all. All right, so that is that, and that is just a little, small little board game, and I just thought it would be pretty cool for us to have this now. Now, of course, we'd comment that out and be able to play and go from there, and you have a quick little, cool little game. So, all right, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button if you're new here. And please leave any comments, questions, video requests. And if this is the type of video that you're interested in, please click that like button. But um, again, uh, really appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.